Coverdale Bible The Prophet Isaiah What Isaiah Containeth Chapter 16 The Vexation and Fear of Moab The Sixteenth Chapter Then sent the lords of the land a man of war from the rock that lieth toward the desert unto the hill of the daughter Sion. For as the daughters of Moab, they were as it had been a trembling bird that is put out of her nest by the fury of Arnon, which messenger said, Gather your counsel, come together, cover us with your shadow in the midday, as the night doth. Hide the chaste, and bewray not them that are fled. Let the persecuted Moabites dwell among you. Be our open refuge against the destroyer. For the adversary oppresseth us, the robber undoeth us, and the tyrant driveth us out of our land. But the throne of your kingdom is full of grace. Therefore he that sitteth upon it with faithfulness and truth in the house of David, know the thing, and do his diligence to help shortly, according to equity and righteousness. As for Moab's pride, shall they answer, It is well known. And although they be excellent, proud, arrogant, and high-minded, yet is their strength nothing like. And therefore Moab complaineth unto Moab, where through they come all to mourn. And now that they be smitten, they take their device beneath by the brick wall, and make their complaint. The suburbs also of Hesabon were made waste, and the princes of the Gentiles hewed down the vineyards of Sibma, which were planted with noble grapes, and spread unto Jazer, and went unto the end of the desert, whose branches stretched themselves forth beyond the sea. Therefore I mourned for Jazer and for the vineyards of Sibma with great sorrow. I poured my tears upon Hesebon and Eleel, for all their songs were laid down in their harvest and gathering of their grapes. Mirth and cheer was gone out of the field and vineyards, insomuch that no man was glad nor sung. There went no treader into the winepress. Their merry cheer was laid down. Wherefore my belly rumbled, as it had been a lute, for Moab's sake, and mine inward members for the brick wall's sake. For it happened thus also, when Moab saw that she was turned upside down, she went up on high into her sanctuary to make her prayer there, but she might not be helped. This is the device which the Lord took in hand at that time against Moab. But now the Lord saith thus, In three years shall the power of Moab with their pomp, which is great, be minished, like as the burden of an hired servant. And as for the remnant of them, they shall be less than a few, and not reckoned much worth.